What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And here we are once again with the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. And today we're here to talk about how to create our own custom AI chatbot with NVIDIA's chat RTX. And if everything is working fine, you'll see that the NVIDIA chat RTX just finished an inquiry that I just had sent through. And the good news is as long as you have a capable PC, you can use NVIDIA's chat with RTX as well. So speaking of the Legion Pro 7i, this device is obviously going to have extremely good gaming performance. And that's because we're going to have NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4090, as well as 32 gigabytes DDR5 memory. And these specs, which work great for gaming, are also going to work for AI workloads. This fits the requirements for NVIDIA's AI chatbot. So there is some good news here. Creating this custom AI chatbot is actually very easy. And it's custom because it uses your own data set in the form of files that are compatible with the chatbot. Now there is a learning curve, but again, fairly easy and you just require some time and patience. With those things being said, the goal of this content is to help you get more out of your devices and improve your day-to-day -day efficiency. And I'm hoping to accomplish this by providing information you can't find anywhere else. That's because I actually buy these products, I use them long-term, and I'm actually interested in them. All things being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So one of the things I love about the Legion Pro 7i Gen 9, as with other gaming PCs, is going to be RGB lighting. But the Legion Pro 7i does it very well because you create quite a bit of custom RGB lighting profiles, and you can also switch through them easily with a keyboard shortcut. So as you can see, I have the keyboard keys colored green for an NVIDIA Chat RTX theme. But we also have this baseboard RGB lighting, as I call it. I set that to white just to keep things simple, but I just wanted to briefly mention that. And I'm also going to try to make this video so that you can see my face. So another thing I like to point out about the Legion Pro 7i is how the display unfolds, I guess you would say, so that you have almost a 180 degree layout. And this is helpful for making my videos here. Again, so you can see my face, but it might be helpful for your viewing experience. So let's talk about where to download the NVIDIA chat with RTX. I actually provided the link for that in the description down below. So you can click on that and you can start the download process. Interesting enough, when I was writing for the video this morning, I realized that I had an older version of NVIDIA's chat with RTX. So I had to uninstall that version and install the newer version. And if you're wondering about how long this takes to download, for me, it was about 15 minutes. Also noteworthy, this download is downloaded as a zip file. So what that means is that once everything is downloaded, you have to open the zip file take those contents, drag it out of the zip file folder and just place them anywhere where you can access them. All I did to keep things simple was take those files and drag them to my desktop. And the reason you wanna do this is because there is a setup icon. It's an application file and you can click on that and that will start the setup process. Now for me, setup process took about 25 to 30 minutes. So interesting enough, once installation is complete, the application automatically opens. There is a screen that shows up before the one you're seeing in this video. And then you get to this one and it'll look like this minus the inquiry we already did. So I'm going to clear the chat so you can see what the display will look like when it's freshly opened. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to close out of this so you can see exactly what it's like to boot up NVIDIA's chat with RTX. So I have the icon on my desktop here and I'm just going to click on it. And this is one of the boxes that comes up first that I had mentioned. It has kind of a cool look to it. I don't know much about it, but this takes a moment. And the reason I want to demonstrate this process is that you can see just how long everything takes as well. So we're going here, it's taking a moment to load up, then it opens up this other page in the Edge browser. Now, interesting enough, we have some AI models to choose from here in the top left, 
we have Mistral 7B INT4, and then we have Llama 2 13B INT4. Now, I don't know the difference between these two yet. Uh, again, I'm still young to this. I'm still new to this. So I guess what I would say is switch between both and see how each one works for you, and then you can make a decision. Next, you're going to want to pick your data set. This is going to be important because if you don't do this, this AI model won't work. So you have to select a folder path here, and then you can edit that file location. So I'm going to open up here. I'm going to start as though I'm doing this for the first time. So I specifically made documents that are designed with chat with RTX in mind. So I'm going to go to my documents here. You can see I created an NVIDIA chat RTX files folder. We're just going to select it and then I'm going to click on select folder. Now I've created several documents in this folder, but for demonstration purposes, and because I'm doing a review on the Legion Pro 7 i Gen 9, and we're talking about the NVIDIA Chat RTX, I made a document about the requirements needed to run NVIDIA's Chat RTX. And it's plugged into this as part of the data set. So we can actually go down here to the bottom, and we're going to ask Chat with RTX, tell me about the hardware requirements for NVIDIA's chat with RTX. And then we can hit enter and we should get a response here. So this is taking a moment. The hardware requirements for NVIDIA's chat with RTX are as follows. Platform needed, Windows, GPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 or 40 series, RAM 16 gigabytes or more, OS Windows 11, driver 53 5.11 or later file size 35 gigabytes note that chat with rtx supports various file formats including text pdf doc docx and xml reference files this is just listing the data set file that i included here it says nvidia chat rtx system requirements report dot docs and this is pretty much spot on because I just tucked this from NVIDIA's website and I saved it in simple text as a document. And we can actually go in here to that document and just see how this matches here. So we're going to go to my documents. We're going to go NVIDIA chat RTX files. NVIDIA chat RTX system requirements. Again, this is the document that's used as the data set. And I'm just going to make this half screen here. And then we're going to pull up chat with RTX again. And you can see everything matches here. Now, there is one point I want to mention here. I'm actually glad that I covered the hardware requirements to use NVIDIA's chat with RTX. It says 16 gigabytes or more. Now, that's interesting because I do have an HP Omen 16 and that has 16 gigabytes RAM but it seems that's not enough because that's just the bare minimum and that's at 16. So if you have a laptop that has 16 gigabytes of RAM, it might not work. That's another reason I went with the Legion Pro 7 i Gen 9. It has 32 gigabytes, again, DDR5 memory. So I know that I have more than enough and I'm hopefully future proofing myself for quite a bit of time here. And then there are some minor things here. So I'm going to make the chat with RTX window full screen here. One of the things I do want to point out at the bottom here, so disclaimer, it says chat with RTX response quality depends on the AI model's accuracy and the input data set. And that's interesting because when I actually titled the title of the document used in the data set, NVIDIA chat RTX system requirements, I spelled requirements wrong. So what that means is if you make misspellings or the facts aren't accurate or it's biased, then you're going to have a problematic AI model that could be incorrect or could be biased. Just something to keep in mind. 
and you want to make sure that the information that you're putting in is also accurate which is why in this disclaimer as well it says please verify important information and a lot of these ai models are doing this because we are seeing issues in ai chatbots but anyways, this is a simple intro to this application. I just wanted to get something going here because this is one of the reasons I did buy the Legion Pro 7i. Of course, again, I did buy it for gaming. It works really well at that. But AI, I really wanted to get into this. I want to learn more about it because I want to know what are the future capabilities, the promises. For one, I could see something like this being used in the medical system. Uh, for finances. I could also see it helping people with disabilities such as those who have memory impairments. If you could have information stored on say a computer and you could just chat with an AI bot, then that could maybe help you remember things or it could just be great for accessing information quickly. Those are just a few things, but my question is, what do you think the possibilities are with this technology? So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon check in out.